So now we're looking at circuit number 15, which is an example that we took from the S4A.CAT website. So we took the music a theremin-like instrument example and modified it to our likings. So in this example, we're utilizing a photoresistor and an RGB LED, and you'll see what happens. So we also have a, a visual, which is a violin, and what's going to happen is, based on the value that the photoreceptor gives us, uh, different notes will be played. So the more or less light that we add, the different notes that will be played, uh, and the sound is from a violin. So what will happen is, with the visual representation, as well as the RGB LED, based on the notes played, uh, the different strings will light up in different colors. The E string of the violin is yellow. The A string is red. The D string is cyan blue. And the G string is green. So the RGB LED will also change to the corresponding color. So let's see what happens when we run the code. So you can see that the violin strings are changing based on the changing uh, value. And the RGB LED is as well. So let's see what happens when we add a reduced light. So right now some low notes are playing because of the presence of the darkness or the absence of light. When we take our hand away though, the notes rise a little bit. And there you can see the correspondence between the violin strings and the RGB LED. So there you have it.